All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. I was talking to a friend of mine, and I told him, elections are coming up. And really, you need to buy yourself a pistol. Really, you do. And you need to have the ammunition that you need and the preparations you need because, check it out, it's going to get worse. It, it really is. And it, it's crazy where we're getting into as a community. But the reality is that there's a lot of nonsense going on and every single day you can trust these people. Now, I'm not going to go crazy. I'm, I'm not getting into the crazy things. You know, some guys get really crazy about this. I'm just very simple and I'm going to keep it very, very simple because I don't really believe that it's going to get that crazy. Right. But at the same time, having a good preparation is good. We saw what just happened in COVID-19 and everything happened. Like people couldn't even buy a gun. Like people were going to the gun store and couldn't buy a gun because the background check wasn't even coming back. That's simple. That's simple. They stopped law-abiding citizen from buying a gun. Don't wait. Don't wait to that moment. You know, every single time there, there's an emergency, we, we I find myself here saying the same thing. Don't wait. You know, there's a hurricane. People breaking into people's house. I'm like, dude, don't wait. The thing is over. Don't wait. Buy a gun. There is a riot. People committing horrific things. I said, don't wait. Get a gun. And then the next situation happened. The next uh, uh, event happened. And we're here making the same conversation. COVID-19, we just saw that. People were going to the gun stores here in Florida. They couldn't buy a gun because the background check was taking forever. Forever and a half, right? People couldn't find ammo. Ammo went up in prices. A lot of guys making videos about companies taking advantage of people, right? So, don't wait. Really don't wait. Now, a lot of people have no job right now. Don't get into debt. Don't do nothing stupid. Your kids got to eat. You got to eat. But start saving some money. Put a little bit of money to the side. You know, I got a friend a while ago. He told me this. Instead of buying a box of ammo every paycheck, I put $20 to the side. When I make it to 150 bucks, I buy a case or a thousand round uh, a thousand round nine mil. I don't think that that ship now the day, but again, you know, that's an idea. Put some money to the side. When the time comes, buy a pistol. May take you like four months from now, but save some money to the side because once again, we see what happened here in COVID-19, you know, crime going on. I think some of the places went out of control. Even in New York, at one point, I think it was one, one day, Tuesday, Thursday, whatever it was, like over 6,000 police guys, police officers, called out sick. The guys didn't want to go to work. The guys are like, no, man. People are dying every single day because of this illness. I'm not going to work to deal with people that are sick like that. And I don't blame them. They have wife and children. I don't blame them. I'm not going to be like, no, man. You know, you want to stay home because you have kids and you don't want to put, bring something that you don't even know. You don't even know if you have it. You could bring it to your children. That's dangerous. And that's really crazy, right? So some cops weren't even going to work. Some cops are like, screw this. I'm not going to work. So what happened? Cops are now there to police. Crime is going on. You cannot buy a gun because background checks are not coming back on time, right? And you're going to find yourself in that dilemma. So when I make videos like this, it's not for you to be crazy. It's not for you to do, go, oh, I need to do this. You know, go into crazy status, right? Don't go into crazy status, right? Just be very, very simple. Think about the things that you need, write it down, and get it. And I told a friend of mine, dude, you need to buy a pistol. You need to buy a pistol. You don't have a way to defend your family. You don't have a way to defend your wife. You really need to buy a pistol so you could put it in your house. You know, he has like a crappy little pistol. And we talked about that. He's like, yeah, I need to, you know, I need to weigh into uh, a good discount or a good offer or sale. There we go. Comes by so I could buy it. And I say, and you need to buy some ammo and put it to the side, you know, practice with that pistol. Make sure you know how to use it. Make sure you know it works. And if something happened, close your doors, man close your doors. That's what I'm going to do. If it gets crazy, close your door. You have food, you have water, you have a gun. You don't need to worry about this, right? You you don't need to worry about calling cops. Obviously, if something happened, yeah, but what I'm saying is like, you don't need to worry because you have a way to defend yourself, right? You don't need to freak out. That's what I'm trying, trying to say about the situation. So again, this is going to pass, but check it out. One thing that I would tell you is that another one is coming because that's how it is. That's how the, the, the news make money, right? By terrifying you. They terrify you to the point that you watch the news and they play advertising, right? YouTubers do the same thing, by the way. They put this crazy 
titles and all these faces like and you know people watch the video to get the clicks and they make money too so it is it's a strategy that youtubers make too but again this news are making a lot of money and something else gonna come and they're gonna talk about it they're gonna terrify you they're gonna create uh, terror and people don't know what to do find a way right now figure out what do you need to do to get so the next one when it comes which I'm assuming election times are gonna come and it's gonna go pretty crazy you have a way to protect your family and you don't need to be scared for your life you don't need to be one of those guys that is in the gun store flipping out because you haven't bought a gun anyways what do you guys think put comments down below and as always gotta send control